Tell me when you start. En el centro nomás. Yeah. Is it going? I want to say how honored I am and what a pleasure it is to speak to all of you and make this video. Thank you. Especially to honor my brother, Gary, the G-Man, that's here with us today. What an amazing man. For me, I want to introduce myself. I am Ron, Ron Fenton. And that over there is Fred. That's Fred Fenton. Fred, has this 69 years going by? There's a lot going on up, down, and in between from the initial uh, birth screen, we must admit. And I can see Fred is honoring a bit of his past by going back to 1969 when he was a rock hard stud man. Fred, you could stop right there, okay? No motorcycles, you know. The look is good. For me, I'm going to milk this 69 right up until April 16, 6 o'clock in the morning. I'm going to enjoy it and bathe in it. Because I know the next day there's going to be a lot of gloating going on amongst Lisa, Steve, Andrea, Lenny, I know, well, it comes with the age. We deserve it. So once again, I'm very excited to be here in the Wyoming mountains. This place is beautiful. Let's, uh, let's have a good time together. It's been a long time. Gary Fenton, happy birthday. Gary has done very well for himself. Stop. So we we cut away for a second, and I need to um, just make a one addition that Sonia, my lovely wife, will be gloating <laughs> also. Uh, yeah, when I turn seventy, and she is younger, but I don't want to sleep on the couch. All right. So Gary did very well for himself through this time zone. Somewhere, at some point, Gary snuck past us and became, in reality, the inspiration for this family and for me. I noticed watching him that he had, he had, he had developed a golden tongue and a professional likability that was working for him. He never seemed to be in trouble. Um, 50 guys come in from Taiwan, boom, landed in it at LaGuardia. Who's gonna arrange the dinner, the drinks, the meeting, the place, the entertainment? Who's gonna have the right to introduction about the company and the meeting tomorrow? G-Man, done. Place, booze, <laughs> tips, organized. No one has a bad time. G-Man at the center. Uh, so Gary brought this golden tongue and likability uh, professionally and he he had this amazing career where he worked for he worked for 12 companies that were actually the same company and had the same name. He just rode he rode that tongue, he rode that corporate monster like a pro. Never missed a beat. Same high paying job, 12 companies. Same tech man, same tech master, same G-man, 
same company. I kind of <laughs> pretty uh, amazing. Gary is also the guy that parlayed his investments. He watched his money as opposed to me. And he bought a beautiful home. And he built it himself. With him and Lenny, built them himself a beautiful home. That is a dream come true. And it sure was a, a place. Even if he had to uh, fail on the plants a little bit, you know, try peeing on them, but you know, that's not how you do it. Um, Gary, cut. Okay, go. Yeah. Okay. So Gary succeeded and. Fred and I, we had to, we had to scramble and gather like somewhere between two to four to professional uh, college degrees um, to at least get to work, find work, and keep up with the G-Man, uh, which we did. Uh, but G-Man continued to inspire. Now, another thing that is uh, special to me about Gary is that he never took his eye off his, the family, our family. He always has been in contact with us, with people. He always polite and uh, no fighting, tried to be um, helpful and conciliatory, um, a skill that um, I'm in the process of uh, honing a little better myself. Uh, again, Gary, master. Uh, he always kept close to Lisa and kept close to the rest of us. And he, uh, he always brought us together. He, not only our family, but Lenny's family too. That's Gary who brought us here today. Uh, so I must say that he was a good influence on me. Cut. This brings us to the part of the um, presentation where we need to have some clarity as to why, when Gary was a kid, he was uh, he was teased with the word bonehead, and this was done by his caring and ever loving, uh, heartwarming older brothers um, they had obviously developed good empathy skills from their parents but of course um, one thing that picture that you see in Fred's montage did not help the crew cut one <laughs> with the bow tie okay so we need to find out in reality we need to clear this up now and we need to see who is really the bonehead? Because I gotta tell you, Gary certainly was not. And so we need to figure this out and see in this new world who is the bonehead. Cut. Oh, hello, family. Once again, we're not in my house. We're now at the uh, linguistic, linguistic Lab at the uh, Eastern Arizona College. And uh, I uh, had some deep discussions with the English department and we've come up with some criteria to uh, dissect who is the bonehead. Okay, a bonehead, the bonehead. By the way, a bonehead is somebody whose head is, is made out of bone <laughs> and it's solid, so they, they can't think clearly. Okay. Just to make um, we start with the we start with a successful retirement filter to dissect this uh, question, and this is where a man or a woman retires at an age well less than seventy 
and they're still in good condition and they can do things. Okay, got that. It's a, a successful retirement where they do things at an age less than 70. Okay, so we dissected this. Let's compare this, for example, Gary, Fred, and Ron. Okay, let's start with uh, Fred. Uh, he has failed. He is still working like a dog and no, no retirement in sight. Ron, he's failed. He's working like a freaking dog, and no retirement. <laughs> uh, maybe he'll still be able to walk when he retires. Okay. And uh, Gary, mission accomplished, masterful job. Case closed. Okay. Not yet. We got one more filter. Stop. Okay. Criteria number two. Travel around the world, and I don't mean in pictures or a magazine, actually visiting places throughout the world. It's a great accomplishment that every human on the planet aspires to, uh, a successful uh, exclamation point on your life that it's a dream that you enriches you piece that you understand many different things. So really the, the thing is in life, make it happen. And then uh, this is a life accomplishment of the highest order. So let's start with Ron over here. We see he's, he's pretty good, four countries, um, pretty, still got a few more to go. Fred, been around, let's say 15 countries, not too bad. Gary, over 20 countries and counting. Winner. Uh, Ron and Fred might be characterized, I don't want to even use the word anymore, but uh, BH comes to mind in comparison to the G-Man. Happy birthday, G-Man. Love you. And all of you look great. All of you look wonderful. Gary, I love you. Take care.